financial freedom, a buzzword that often finds its way onto people's lists of goals, especially at this time of the year. It conjures up endless vacations or the golden year spent playing golf and reading. But what it is really is freedom, freedom from worry, freedom from unpaid bills, freedom to pursue hobbies or to volunteer and help those less fortunate. I want to explore three forms of income that may lead to financial freedom for you. First is leveraged income. Second is residual income. And the third is passive income. Hi, I'm Lorna Rasmussen, and this channel is devoted to helping you build a profitable business so you can live the life of your dreams, whatever that dream may be. For me, it's living here in Costa Rica. Before I go on, I want to remind you how much we appreciate when you subscribe to this channel and give us a thumbs up if you like the video. So let's get started. While there are many sources of income that could fall into these categories, an um, example would be rental property or monetary investments, etc. I want to talk about income that comes through what some call sweat equity. In other words, you don't need to put a large monetary investment in, but rather you put in your time and that produces income. The easiest way that I've found to accomplish this is through building a network marketing or a direct sales business. The concept of leveraged income comes from the world of finance where you borrow money to make money. But in the world of direct sales or network marketing, leveraged income is earned by helping others start and grow their own businesses. In other words, you recruit them to work with you on your team. So rather than other people's money, you're using other people's efforts or work. As John Paul Getty, an American billionaire from the early 20th century is quoted as saying, I'd rather have 1% of 100 people's efforts than 100% of my own efforts. This is where the concept of leveraged income can make some people uncomfortable because they have a sense that they're using people. This could not be further from the truth. And if you do it correctly, what you're doing is really helping them to realize their goals and dreams, supporting them to learn the business and be successful. In other words, they exchange their efforts for your support. And that's why Robert Kiyosaki called network marketing the business school for people who want to help people. The second form of income is residual income. Residual income is defined as income that one continues to receive after the completion of the income producing work. For example, royalties on a book that you wrote or music that you produced or rental property or interest and dividend income and income from an ongoing sale of consumer goods such as music or books. One of the best forms of residual income comes from subscriptions for ongoing services or goods. So in direct sales, residual income is produced when a customer continues to purchase a product after the initial sale of that product. You may also receive what are called residual overrides, where you are paid on the ongoing purchases from the customers of your sales team. Residual income is important because it can either be supplemental to other forms of income, you know, your job or whatever, or it can offer you income once you retired or stop working. I'm going to share with you how impactful residual income was in my life in just a minute. Finally, passive income. I think that's the one that everybody really likes the idea of and really sounds great. It's defined as any money earned in a manner that doesn't require too much effort. Doesn't that sound wonderful? A common example of passive income is rental property or lending and investing money, writing a book or a course. But all these forms of passive income mean that you had to work at some point in order to have the money to invest, buy a rental property or write a book and publish it. So my definition of passive income, which I have experienced living here for the last five years in Costa Rica, is a combination of leveraged and residual income, leading to a time where I was able to put little or no effort into my business, but I continued to earn as much as I was when I was working. Now, here's an example how leveraged and residual income came to my rescue earlier in my career. 
Seven years after I launched my last and most successful network marketing business, my house burned down. My husband had his own architectural practice, so he had to immediately go back to work, or he might have lost his whole business. I was left to take on a large portion of the work of putting our lives back together. It was extremely stressful, as I'm sure you can imagine, and I wasn't able to put any effort into my business. But because I had developed a strong and independent team, they continued to work despite the fact that I couldn't. That went on for almost two years. But during that time, because of leveraged and residual income, my income actually went up. I encourage you to think outside the box, to explore the potential of leveraged and residual and passive income, to see if it might be the answer for you and your family. And to help you with that, we'd like to give you a free copy of my book. Just click the link below and we'll send you that book. We break down the pros and cons of each way to earn an income. It's how I went from bankrupt to millions. I'll see you on the next video.